heaven and earth and all creation cry out to me that I must love. Everything tells me with all your heart, love the love that loves you. you to draw you wholly to itself. Therefore I desire never to stop drawing on this holy light and this ineffable goodness. Francis abounded in the spirit of charity. He was filled with compassion, not only toward men in need, but even toward dumb animals, reptiles, birds, and other creatures. Toward little worms, even, he glowed with a very great love, for he had read this saying about the Savior, I am a worm, not a man. Therefore, he picked them up from the road and put them in a safe place, lest they be crushed by the feet of passers-by. In a most extraordinary manner, he discerned the hidden things of nature. 
When he found an abundance of flowers, he preached to them and invited them to praise the Lord as though they were endowed with reason. In the same way, he exhorted with the sincerest purity vineyards, stones and forests and all beautiful things of the fields to love God and serve him willingly. Francis arrived once in the valley of Spoleto and passed a place where there was an immense flock of birds. Leaving his companions on the road, he approached the birds and seeing that they listened to him attentively, began to joyously address them about their creator. My brothers, the birds, you should praise your creator and always love him, for he has given you feathers to cover you, wings with which to fly, and everything you need. <laughs> 